My name is Amnon Lipkin Shachak. Uh, many years ago, I was the chief of the general staff. And later, I joined politics in a party that doesn't exist anymore. And I serve in between 1999 to 2001 as the Minister of Tourism and Minister of Transportation in Barak's government. And now I am a chairman of a water company, an Israeli water company. Even if it does nothing to do with the existential of Israel, it's an Israeli interest to end the occupation in the West Bank and to end the situation of the conflict between us and the Palestinians. And uh, this conflict is not only an Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It, basically, it's the conflict between us and the Muslim world, between us and the other neighboring countries. And maybe that uh, if this conflict will be solved, then we're going to enter a new era. But I'm afraid that it might come to a point in which it will be impossible to go back to a two-state solution. And then it's going to be uh, a chaotic situation. There are about 2.5 million Palestinians living in the West Bank. There is a smaller number living in Gaza. But there is no way to totally separate Gaza and the West Bank. There are families who are separated between these two parts. And it's true that now the Hamas is controlling Gaza and uh, Abu Mazen is controlling the West Bank, but uh, we cannot separate these two parts of one state. And in the end, we'll have to find a way that we will not control the daily life of the Palestinians in the West Bank. And uh, what it's going to look like, I have no idea. The support of the United States to any solution, and especially to the economy of the future Palestinian state, and what Israel might need will be essential, and the political support as well. So the U.S. will continue to be a very important tool in any future solution, but uh, this tool is also losing part of its power. The more we wait, the more complicated it's going to be. And even the last events that got nothing to do with the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the events in uh, the Muslim world, especially in Egypt, Syria, and other Arab countries, does not make the solution now easier than it was. It will be more complicated, but it's still a must.